Hello everyone, I'm Hain, and in this talk, I will introduce our study that explored how people with low vision perceived different visual augmentations in ER glasses in an orientation and mobility context. Low vision is a vision impairment that cannot be corrected by prescription glasses or contact lenses. Low vision could be caused by different underlying conditions like cataract or glaucoma, and so on. What people with low vision could see is different. Some have peripheral or central vision loss, some have blurry or grainy vision, some have patchy vision or distorted vision. However, majority of them have some useful residual vision. One of the most debilitating effects of vision loss is reduced mobility. They experience a wide range of problems such as reading signs or finding the desired destination or navigating the stairs or detecting and avoiding people, obstacles and trip hazards and so on. So to help with their mobility, some visual mobility aids have been proposed. These aids perform different things like simplifying the visual scene or providing the distance information. So far, the results of these studies have been mixed at best. They improved obstacle detection but reduced mobility efficiency. And most of these studies did not evaluate the augmentations using participants with a wide range of visual levels to explain how they would perform in the wider low vision population. And many of them did not report the qualitative data that would explain the user's experiences with these augmentations and how they could be adapted to make them more useful in the future. Therefore, uh, to understand the experiences of people with a wide range of visual levels on different visual augmentations in AR glasses, we conducted this feasibility study. So we wanted to find out which group of people could benefit the most from these AR augmentations. We wanted to understand which aspects of the augmentation that people perceive as beneficial and disadvantageous. And we wanted to further elicit requirements for visual mobility aids. So we conducted one-to-one -one interviews with 18 participants. The participants had varying levels of residual vision, ranging from merely normal vision to profound vision loss. During the interviews, we showed them eight AR prototypes on HoloLens and asked them to observe the environment and walk around. We asked open-ended questions to allow them to talk whatever mattered the most to them, and we gathered their experiences feedbacks and suggestions. So we implemented eight prototypes and the designs of these prototypes were based on the existing literature and the results of our prior focus group study that explored the mobility challenges that people with low vision faced. The prototypes served different purposes like highlighting the walls, providing distance information, providing edge of contrast enhancements, or providing the navigation, visual navigation guide. So we performed thematic analysis on the detailed qualitative data that we gathered, and we found that people with visual acuity better than 260 reported the most benefits from these augmentations. The advantages and disadvantages they experienced varied widely from participant to participant. The advantages included things like seeing more details of the environment or better understanding of the environment, and uh, improved obstacle detection and avoidance and so on and so forth. Majority of the disadvantages came from the technical problems like slow and sparse spatial updates or poor resolution images and other common problems like uh, device size or the screen size or the weight or the, how it looks. The participants also made important suggestions on different ways to customize these organizations to make them more usable and suitable to their vision. Therefore, despite some technical limitations, many of the visual augmentations were perceived as useful, therefore highlighting the potential of AR glasses as a future mobility aid. So in summary, this paper provides valuable insights about the user experiences from people with a wide range of visual levels and further highlights the diversity of low vision populations and provide important suggestions to improve the desire and the usability of future visual mm -hmm. mobility aids. Thank you.